Hi, welcome to my channel Hosting365. Today I'm going to talk about how to choose web hosting. You can find the links in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Without further ado, let's begin. Web hosting is very important for maintaining a successful online presence. There are different web hosting services in the market, ranging from a few dollars to hundreds of dollars per month. There are several things to consider before signing up with a company. These include price, features, performance, reliability, security, support, uptime, and reputation. So, in this video we will look at 21 factors to consider when choosing a web hosting. Number 1. Identify your needs. Before you choose a web host, you need to understand what kind of website you want to create. Do you want a simple blog, or do you need an e-commerce store for selling products online? Number 2. Domain and hosting. Most companies bundle web hosting and domain registration services together these days. Domain name registration is different than web hosting. Domain is like your house address, and web hosting is the house. Customers enter your domain URL at the Google search bar to look for your website. A web hosting is a place where you store all your web files. If you get your domain from a different company, that way you have ownership over your domain name if you decide to switch web hosting services in the future. It's not difficult to point your domain from a different provider to current hosting. You just need to update DNS servers inside your domain provider dashboard. Number 3. Website storage. An e-commerce website will have different storage requirements than a one-page blog. Do not blindly choose a plan that offers unlimited disk space. Storage can be upgraded as traffic increases. Website storage is determined by storage type and capacity. Each hosting company offers various hosting plans. From the example shown, if you want to host a website only, 30 GB storage is enough to run your site smoothly. But an e-commerce site might need 200 GB storage. Number 4. Storage type. Solid-state drive SSD storage is preferred, as they are faster and more durable than hard disk HD storage. Website loading speed depends on the type of storage used. Number 5. Server technology. Most web hosting services provide stacked hosting on cloud platforms such as Google Cloud or AWS. If the hosting company uses updated technology, this improves your site speed and performance. Number 6. Bandwidth. Bandwidth is number of traffic your site can handle. It is also defined by users' activity at your site. It will also depend on your type of business. A content-heavy streaming website will require a lot more bandwidth than a table booking service at a local restaurant. Bandwidth requirements will increase with the increase in website traffic. Number 7. Shared hosting versus private or dedicated hosting. A shared hosting service means thousands of websites share similar resources – CPU, RAM, storage. So storage and bandwidth are divided among thousands of websites just like yours. Shared hosting is good if your website needs are minimal. Plus, it offers cheaper price than a dedicated server. Virtual private server, VPS, is similar to shared hosting. But storage and bandwidth assigned to your site is larger than what you get from shared hosting. Dedicated hosting. On the other hand, Dedicated hosting is more performance-oriented. Your website is allocated to a private server. It means all resources, storage and bandwidth is directed to your website only. The resources, CPU, RAM, storage and bandwidth is triple-quadruple upgraded than shared hosting. For a huge capacity website, it increases speed and performance. Google likes it so much when your site loads faster. However, VPS and dedicated server are generally more expensive as well. This is example of Bluehost dedicated server plan. Number 8. Scalability requirements. 
Scalability means the ability to upgrade your current server if your current storage, bandwidth, are not enough to manage growing traffic to your site. As your website grows, if you are not being able to scale to higher server plan within the same hosting company, this will cost you more revenue, because you need to buy a new hosting plan and migrate your site. Number 9. User-friendly interface One of the most important aspects of selecting a web hosting is its user-friendly dashboard, especially for beginners. It should be easy to navigate through so that you can easily manage all your sites. Some web hosts offer a beginner-friendly interface where you can add domains, change settings, view statistics, etc. Number 10. Server location. Consider where you expect the most amount of traffic to come from. If your traffic is based in the US, having a data center in the continental US is optimal. This means that your customers can access your website content faster and efficient. If your traffic comes from various countries, you should get a Content Delivery Network CDN. Number 11. Content Delivery Network A Content Delivery Network CDN, works by hosting your website on various servers across the globe. It connects your audience to the closest mini-server of your website from their location. A popular one is Cloudflare, which currently has data centers in 154 countries. Number 12. Security. Security is a crucial factor to consider when choosing web hosting. Since your entire business depends on it, it is necessary to check your web host server security. Having a good security architecture is better for the reputation and trustworthiness of your website. Malware scan. Withal regular malware scans are a must for a good web hosting service. It will give you the peace of mind that your site will not crash suddenly due to hackers' attack or malware. Firewall protection. Good web hosting services will employ firewall protection to keep out malicious traffic. If they don't, you might have to factor in the cost of an additional third-party firewall. Number 13. SSL certificate. Secure sockets layers SSL certificates are important for your domain. An SSL-protected website automatically displays a padlock and HTTPS in the address bar. SSL protects your website visitors' data. This assures your users about their data protected when browsing your website. Check if your web host includes a free SSL certificate and automatically configure SSL for each new domain added. Number 14. Uptime Guarantee The uptime score reflects how often your site will be down or inaccessible due to technical issues. It's calculated by taking into account the number of times your website was unavailable over the past 12 months. The lower uptime can reduce the organic traffic. So before choosing a host, you must consider the uptime score of the host so you may not lose your visitors or potential customers. A good web hosting service will have a very high uptime guarantee. Check if your web host has a 99% or more uptime guarantee. Anything less is not really acceptable these days. Number 15. A mail service. Some web hosting services will include a mail service, but others may not. With this feature you get domain-based email address. It looks more professional for your business. Example is adminahosting365.org. You can use this feature as autoresponder or a mail forwarder. Otherwise, if you want to have long-term engagement with your customers, you need to subscribe separate email autoresponder, such as GetResponse and MailChimp. Number 16. Backup services. Backing up your website is important to restore your site after crash. Web hosts that provide automatic backup to cloud storage and one-click restore features are super convenient. Double-check how frequently they schedule backups and how long they retain those backup copies. However, it is always prudent to maintain multiple backups and even pay for a third-party backup service. Number 17. Web migration. You might wish to migrate your website to a new web hosting service in the future, in which case you might have to pay extra for migration services. 
Some of the web host company offers web migration for free. Number 18. Support service. Live chats and support managers are important to the operations of a website during crisis situations. Read up on some reviews on the response time of client support managers before finalizing a web host. Number 19. Resolution time. Along with good response time, check up on the resolution time of your web host as well. Generally, experienced staff can solve most issues over live chat, but sometimes severe problems may take days to resolve. Number 20. Pricing. Consider your budget first before shortlisting a web host. Remember, you don't have to go for all the features at once. Most hosting services will allow you to upgrade as you grow. A $10 per month plan should be enough if you are just getting started. There is different payment plan available. Some company offers monthly payment, some have yearly, two-yearly or even three-yearly payment. For two- or three-yearly payment plan, you can save a lot of money due to huge discount offered. Different pricing is based on different features of each hosting plan. The more premium features it has, the more expensive the price is. Operational costs. You must anticipate operational costs in the budget, such as domain name registrations, plugin subscriptions, third-party services, and security certificates. Renewal cost. Some web hosting services will offer you great plans for the first year, but increase them significantly at the time of renewal. So make sure to read the price stated carefully. Number 21. Reliability of hosting. It's important to read reviews whether the service provider is trusted or not. This step is important for beginners because they will buy it for the first time. We hope those 21 considerations will allow you to choose the best web hosting service for yourself. Remember, web hosting should be based on your needs. So to get the most effective solution, consider your website requirements thoroughly first. That's it for today. See you in the next video.